I'm Valentina and I'm Thomas and we're Dancing Brick. Dancing Brick is a theatre company based in the southeast of England and we make visual accessible physical theatre. And we're up here at the Edinburgh Fringe presenting our latest piece of work which is called Captain Co and the Planet of Rice which is a science fiction triptych about time and space and memory. My name is Sergio, Sergio Della Sala. I'm a professor of uh, human cognitive neuroscience at the University of Edinburgh and I'm based at the psychology department and I'm a member of the CASE, which is a, a, a group of people interested in aging. Thomas and Valentina uh, approached me um, long ago, about two years now, uh, with a vague idea of setting up a show describing what it means to have Alzheimer for a general audience. And then from there we started to chat, share, and then we came up with this um, um, captain call. Thanks to a public engagement grant from the Wellcome Trust, we were able to come up to Edinburgh and work very closely with uh, Professor Sergio de la Sala, um, who introduced us to a lot of scientists here and, and some uh, patients. And we were able to interview lots and lots of people and really kind of try to put together an unsentimental um, kind of scientific look at, at the disease as well as a more kind of emotional personal connection to it which I think we already had um, and so the, the, the play developed with this idea that we wanted to kind of not present a uh, sentimental kind of emotional uh, tortuous um, depiction of what is a very difficult disease to live with but rather we wanted to kind of place the disease in a in a kind of um, context which might tell us a little bit about how all of our relationships with time through memory are quite fragile or more fragile than we might sometimes think. We also um, held a discussion uh, with people who attended the event as an audience to get feedback and also to share views. Um, so we had this um, uh, lively, interesting discussion uh, for about an hour and a half, uh, whereby people were uh, sh sharing views. And uh, um, the, the bulk of the discussion revolved around the issue of what it looks like to uh, um, have memory problems, very severe memory problems. And the idea behind the uh, astronaut is exactly that. It's not, okay, this is a person with a memory problem and blah, blah, blah. It's, okay, suppose you are landing in a planet. You don't recognize anything. You know nothing about what's going on there. You don't understand the language, if there is a language. You don't recognize the objects. Um, you don't have any memory. You wonder about and you go back to the original place. So that's how they, a, a patient with Alzheimer's disease may feel. And the purpose was to make the audience feel uh, the uh, 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 condition rather than being sorrow for uh, the patients or their uh, relatives. Professor Sergio de la Sala's enthusiasm about our work really spurred us on and, and he, he seemed to, we seemed to meet artistically almost with him in, in quite an exciting way and he was proposing creative ideas along the way which we took on board and it was a real mm. artistic collaborative process it wasn't just that we were learning science from him we were we were discussing new and imaginative ways of portraying something that often isn't portrayed in this way and, and doing it with quite an original voice which I think came from this like a collective voice so he's mm. been a huge inspiration artistically as well as scientifically. As all experiences with 
young bright people has been great for me has been a, a learning process for, for me as well but also it's been really interesting because it's not um, the classic empty interdisciplinary approach so that we try to put together different disciplines to come up with something it's genuinely uh, it's a genuine project um, it's a story which is based on real clinical issues based on real science however is written up as a piece and as such as to be evaluated seen perceived is not science it's a piece of art I learned from them and I learned to um, uh, curtail all the details that a scientist try to fit in and get to the essential uh, uh, a gesture, uh, a word, um, a, a gaze, uh, and they are brilliant in doing that. that you always may stay as sweet as